Welcome to this section of the Mastering Elasticsearch 6 series. In this section, we'll be going through a Kibana deep dive. Throughout this section, we'll look at Kibana. It's huge, so we're going to take it apart piece by piece. We'll look at how we can configure groups of data for querying by using the built-in index patterns. We'll slice and dice queries using various methods of selecting time. And then we'll refine our search to find needles in a haystack. And finally, we're going to be really proud of all the searching and all the data we found. So we're going to save those searches and share them with friends. Or maybe people that aren't friends too. All right, let's look at Kibana and break it apart. In this video, we're going to take a look at the main search page, the discover page. We'll briefly touch on dashboarding, timeline, machine learning, graph, dev tools, monitoring, and management. All right, primarily, Kibana is used for looking at data to find individual search results, as well as building some visualizations around these. Visualizations you can think of as your typical user interface component, such as gauges or column graphs or uh, word clouds or any other thing you can think of they've got built into Kibana. Then a group of these visualizations can be saved as a dashboard. This is what you think of when you watch TV and you see, you know, the command center with uh, big graphs on the, on the TVs that are 93 feet wide and watching NASA and saying, hey, look, there's something going on over in sector XYZ. Let's zoom in on that. That's the kind of stuff you can do here in Kibana's dashboard. All right, so in this dashboard example, uh, you can see we're doing some searches uh, across this data set that we have. It's called our primary dashboard as set in the upper left-hand corner. Um, here we have three visualizations. So the idea with this dashboard is to kind of show you an overview about the health of a system. So let's look at one of the individual visualizations. This visualization is showing us the average CPU load for this server over the period of time that the dashboard is searching. So the last dashboard, I think, was searching a 15-minute time period. So over that 15-minute time period, your average CPU utilization was 0.008%, so quite low. It's a, a very unused server. But here you have the green, yellow, and red ranges of this gauge. Uh, so those are configurable, what those ranges are. Uh, you can set up your thresholds to say, hey, if it's over 50% utilized, then we're going to show in the red. So that's what an example of one of the visualizations that's built within Kibana. And over the videos, we're going to go through our data. We're going to discover data and make these visualizations. It all starts with a search. So this Discover tab, I'll call it the Search tab, the Discover tab, is where we initially build out our searches. So these searches are things where you can pick a time range, you can do a lot of query filtering based on attributes, uh, based on classification of data, uh, you can even search on what index the documents come from. Uh, these searches are not just, you know, when this property equals this value, like here in this case we can say when this beat.host name at the very bottom equals Elasticsearch 6. Uh, in these searches you can do Boolean and or relationships, uh, you can do parenthetical grouping, you can do wildcards. There's a whole lot of stuff you can do here uh, using the Lucene query syntax for these searches. 